Hello everybody. Okay, I just made a video maybe a couple of days ago and it was just kind of like my introduction to um, natural hair. Um, I've been natural now for six days. Tomorrow will be a week. And um, I didn't even introduce myself, but hello, my name is Tamara. I'm from Tam New to Natural. And this video will be kind of like um, a product video. What I'm using now, what I've used during uh, my transition, and some things that I just bought. Okay, right now, I just got today, and I got it simply because every a lot of women here on the YT have used it and it's the herbal essence totally twisted the shampoo and the conditioner I've gotten both I did both and I just washed my hair today with um, the shampoo and then I conditioned my hair that that's really all I have on my hair right now is I left a little bit of the conditioner on while I was rinsing it out um, for the shampoo mm, I'm like okay with it I mean I like it you know I don't really have a opinion on it at, at, about whether I really love it or not but I do love that conditioner it smells great and um, it's given me great definition and I haven't put anything else in my hair but the conditioner and it's it's really it's really it looks pretty today actually and I also, on my way home, I got this VO5 um, Moisture Milks Conditioner. It has strawberry cream with soy milk and protein. I got this because it was 77 cents and I'm always co-washing my hair. I like co-wash my hair like every day because I don't know what to do with it. So, And I probably will go back and get a few more. I don't know why I didn't get a few more while I was there. but. I don't know. I'm also using the the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration to a One Moisture Shampoo Plus Conditioner. Um, I'm iffy on this too. Um, it doesn't leave my hair feeling moisturized. It kind of leaves it feeling like every other shampoo does, like stripped of all the moisture and oil after you're done using it. Um, I also have been using, before I bought the, um, well this actually is the first thing I bought was the Cantu Shea Butter Conditioner, um, for my co-washes. It's really thick. It actually can be a deep conditioner because it's so thick, but I do love it. It leaves the hair soft. It smells great. I like this stuff. Um, I also just bought, maybe a few days ago, um, the Organics Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I love the conditioner because I've been using it as my co-washes here lately and um, I love it. It's really great. Um, at least it smells great. It smells really good and at least the hair soft. I really like it for co-washes. I haven't used the shampoo yet, but when I do, I'll let you know if I really if I like it or not because I'm not really crazy about any shampoo at this moment. So, um, I also use the olive oil organic root stimulator for my deep condition and I love this too. Um, it leaves the hair soft, manageable. I, I was using this actually too during my transition period and it was great for transitioning too. I love it. And I use it in my daughter's hair. I mean, it does great in her hair too. I also have been using the Infusium 23. I don't have my bottle of Infusium for my leave-in conditioner, and I love it. I love it. Um, it works great with product. Um, if I use my Eagle Styling Gel to try to get a little bit of curl definition, um, it does great. It doesn't leave it all extra clumpy or anything, so I like that. I also have been using during my transition period is the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. Now, I loved it during my transition, but I'm not crazy about it now on my natural hair. I mean, it smells great, and but I don't like it because um, not with this hair. I don't know, but um, 
I don't know. It leaves like the little clumps, and I've heard other women say that it kind of leaves the like the little white things in your hair. And I did use it because I love the way it smells, but I didn't love it with the eco the eco style and gel, so I didn't like it at all. Um, I also use and it keeps her hair really moisturized is the African Shea Butter. I love it. I use it in my daughter's hair and it keeps her hair really moisturized too, so I like this. Um, I also use, well I haven't been using it, but it was great during my transition period. It's the Shea Butter Green Tea and I use it in my daughter's hair and it is great in her hair. It like, keeps her hair moisturized. It is for thirsty hair, I think, because it, it's, you don't have to use a lot, lot of it. It keeps it really moisturized, though. I like this stuff. And I'm, I'm going to try it on my hair, but I don't really like so much heavy product. And I, sometimes I think this might be kind of heavy. Um, I also have been using the Hot Six um, African Royal Essential Six Oils. Well, it's 15 natural herbs. Um, I like this. I mean, you know, it seals the moisture in. But what I want to get and what I still have to get, but I haven't made my way to the Whole Food store is some jojoba oil and some coconut oil because I hear great things about them. So I want to try to get um, get some. And I also wanted to try the Kinky Curling Custard. Curling Custard. I want to try those products too, but... I haven't got to the um, Whole Foods store to get any. But um, right now, I'm kind of co-washing every day and doing wash and goes. Um, I know because my hair is so short, I don't have too many styling options. So I don't know. If you have any ideas of maybe what I can do, like I've been looking at videos and I haven't seen a lot of videos. Like a lot of women are wearing either headbands or flowers or, and um, I have a few headbands. I don't really like how they're looking right now on my head, but um, I'm waiting for a little bit more growth though. I like, I love short hair, so. But um, I kind of sometimes you want something different. You don't always want the same old look. So, but um, I need a routine for my hair. I need um, to stick to a good routine because sometimes I feel like I don't want to wash it every day, but because I don't know what to do with it. And sometimes when I feel like I have product in it, it kind of feels yucky. So I, I co-wash every day. Um, um, I want to know, um, I'll probably only be actually shampooing maybe every other week, like every other Sunday I'll probably wash my wash and deep, well I'll deep condition once a week, but I'll, um, use, I think I'll start doing that day too when I do decide to deep condition, I'll also shampoo too. So, but I need a better routine, a better routine and I need help with how I can get more curl definition, but I'm, I'm loving the way the um, Herbal Essence um, Totally Twisted Conditioner, because that's all I have in there now. I love the way it's making my hair look. Um, and excuse my eye. I went and got my eyebrows done yesterday, and um, it's a little, it's a little sore. Um, the lady, when she was doing my eyebrows, um, pulled off some of my skin, as you can see, um, it's not cute, but excuse it. <laughs> um, I've been putting some, but I've been putting some, um, what I've been putting on it, um, so, um, I forget, well, I put something on it, <laughs> and, um, but that's a whole nother subject, but anyway, um, like I said in my first video, thank you to all the natural women on the YT that has given me the courage to even do this. And this, um, and if anybody has any comments to how I can think extra things I can do to my hair and even extra products that can be used, because right now I feel like I'm a product junkie because I have so many things and I, this is not even all of it. I have a few more things upstairs that I'm using too and I didn't bring now, but 
please leave um, any comments and please rate, subscribe, comment. Um, I will be doing more videos. I'm probably going to do like a video every other week maybe. And kind of like um, what I'm doing to my hair that week. And kind of like a length check to see how much it's grown. Actually, it looked like it's grown a little bit since I had my cut. So, but yeah. But thank you for watching and please have a great day.